All right, hello everybody and welcome to your Wednesday lighting critique. I wanna make sure I got my screen shared. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Uh, so we have two submissions. We're gonna start with Ruby and then work our way over to Kat. Uh, but Ruby, out of the gate, we had, we had um, uh, some notes that we hit last week. This was just a, a higher resolution. Uh, I think this looks great. They're, they're, the only thing I would just, they're just in this like area right in here, just, sorry, that was a weird brush to do that with. Uh, but uh, we've got a, a couple of speckles down there that look a little bit like noise. I would just paint those out in Photoshop or whatever, and then I would be ready to call this done. Austin, how are you feeling about this? Do you like this? It's so beautiful, I really love it. It's great, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Like, yeah. All right, are you ready to clap? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Good job, Ruby. Yeah, All right. All right, cool. Um, okay, so the only other image that we have up today is from Kat. Um, this is a continuation on her, uh, uh, this series with the ballerina asset from our marketplace. Um, so again, just to get our head in the right space, we've got our references here. Um, and then, so so a couple of things about this from, from working with the reference and then um, or looking at the reference and then looking back at the image here. We, we talked about this once before, and I mm -hmm. saw that there was some uh, discussion with Diana about it in the in the um, in the Discord server. But but basically, this window, um, it, it, it was it was this idea of either pushing it, you know, brighter, so it was more like these reference pieces that where it's like very bright out there, um, and it kind of becomes a little bit surreal because then it's not moonlight. Or we tone it down like it's like this uh, image from the jail cell, or this one over here. Um, where it's more believable as a nighttime scene. So I think with this, it might be better to just knock it down a little bit. This is a little, uh, in 2D, it's kind of tough to do it without without adjusting the light rays as well. But like, I think we should knock it down kind of into that realm um, while, while maintaining the strength of the light rays on it. Um, the other part, of, oh, uh, someone just chimed in. Oh, no, oh, man, I wish it didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I was just talking about how you can see the source, mm. like a circle. Like I, I would, I think um, making, pushing the window brighter, like I just wanted mm -hmm. her to do it like the reference where the window as a whole has kind of a similar value. Whereas her previous rendition I has see. like a circle, which I was like, that can't be the moon. And it doesn't make sense. That's, so. that's actually a really good point because it's, yeah. it's, yeah, 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 totally. So if, yeah, if you don't want to push it darker, I think, yes, making it a consistent value, a little more consistent value out there does make it feel like it's, it's less of a smaller, closer light source. That's a good call, Diana. Um, the, the other big thing, cause I think, I think the value on the interior is looking good. I can see this kind of wall over here. I think that's all good. I think we can push her brighter overall. And I think, I think the biggest thing for you to work on now is to get a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, focus on her face because I think like we're getting really nice shaping and everything down in here and I want you to look like look at her torso do you see how there's um, like this kind of like darker it's almost like a, a rim light that's coming in from back here doesn't fully totally make like sense logically with the space but I love it because it's it's providing shaping and allowing us to read her silhouette on the key side of her, this this front side of her is brighter, and we're getting more of that rim. I want to feel that same distinction on her uh, face, head, hair, hand, because I think this pose is really important as well. So I want to feel this the level of kind of a rim light here. I kind of want to feel that coming down the hair, and then wrap it around the cheek just a little bit, so we can see um, a little bit of that, and just kind of down here. So really, it's just, and then and then we can pretty much leave what's behind her um, as is. So. In order to do that, it's almost like because we don't want to mess with what's going on down here. I would almost put like a spotlight with a very, very soft edge, but really focus it on just her face, hand, arm area. And then just kind of like zero it in there, create some more, a uh, little bit more just like hard rim from that, or not hard, but like a softer rim on that, and then just wrap it around a little bit on her. And I think, because really we want to, uh, you know, kind of looking at the reference, like we want to create things like, um, you know, the way that, that the head is nice and bright. And again, we can read the silhouette, but the chest is almost like a, like a exposure level darker, um, than, than the head itself. And that, cause that really just like allows us to focus in and there's more going on with her than there is, is with him in terms of her posing and, and what we want to see up there. 
But I think that is it for today. How you guys doing otherwise? Everyone good? You good? You guys look good. Your little icon oh. photos look great. We're doing great. You're doing great. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today. I will stick around um, after we stop recording to see if you all have any questions or if you just want to chat because I'm just going to keep working for a little bit. But um, thanks again for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. All right. Happy lighting, guys. <laughs>